What's up Catch Cook viewers, it's a new year and that means we're going to have awesome new videos dropping very soon. We're just going to go back to 2019 to see how it was and how it ended for me. Being back at home means no fish in the freezer and that means only one thing. Trust only what you catch and get it yourself. Today we're heading down to my local spot at Glengariff East London and this is where I'll be shooting my spotted grunter and silver stembrass as seen in the thumbnail. My dad and I headed down to the beach. The viz wasn't looking too great, but we were super desperate for a dive. And we kitted up and jumped in anyway. Kitted up fairly faster than my dad did. And while waiting for my dad on the inside, I had a spotted ground to swim past me and I managed to plug that. So that was within the first five minutes of the dive, which is really, really cool to start a dive. After 10 minutes of diving, I found myself in a gully with some good reef species swimming by. I had a really, really nice dumbbell swim past me in the first down, otherwise known as a khaloon. I made a second down in the same gully and had another big dumbbell swim past me. And then as soon as the dumbbell swam away, I had two silvers come swimming over the ledge, which is really, really nice. And I managed to get a shot off and landed a bad shot, but managed to land the fish. Also, my shot was through the stomach, which means I didn't hit the meat, which in this case was a win as it did not ruin the meat as the silver was not the biggest of silvers but these size silvers are really nice to eat. So I was really stoked with what I had and we decided to head back home as the viz was really poor on the outside. The great thing about spearfishing is that you can choose what you'd like to catch and this enables you to be selective. I have a small family, so we don't need a huge fish to feed us all. I was selective and shot a nice size grunter as well as a cracker. Alright, so we're just gonna use a few ingredients today and that'll be some garlic salt, flour, a beer, and oil. Alright, so today I shot a spotted grunter as well as a brusher or a white muscle cracker. Got some nice fillets and I'm gonna cut them up into little blocks and then we're gonna coat it with some salt. There we go. Let me get our oil. We're going to put some salt in our pan so the fish doesn't stick to the bottom. Then we get our flour and we get our beer. Right there. Get the bowl. Going to need quite a bit of flour because we've got a lot of fish. You take your beer and add it to your flour. So you want to get it into a yogurt type. So now we're getting the right consistency here, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to take our fish, we'll put it into our batter and put it into the pan. So now the fish is starting to look golden brown, which is really good, and we'll slowly start to flip them over and cook the other side. Here's our beer battered muscle cracker and spotted grunter. And we just got some ciders as well. So, Sama, what's the food like? A freaking mint! <laughs> Looks like dad's chowing down on the. Anything fresh is still swimming. Fantastic. There we go. Heard it from the man himself. <laughs> 